All right, right now I'm at the KL Bird Park and just got my ticket. For adult ticket, it's uh, 67 ringgit. And right now I'm about to head in. First bird of the day. A little green parrot eating a corn cob. Look at it, it's so cute. And right here we've got lovebirds. I don't know why they're called lovebirds. Why are they called lovebirds anyway? The feels when birds have a better love life than you. Many feels. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a peacock. Is that real? Yeah, I think it's real. Just lying um, under the sun. Because it's too damn hot. Come on, get up. Show me your feathers. No? Okay. Bye. All the birds in here are so damn lazy. Most of them just like standing still in the shade. But I guess if I was a bird, I wouldn't want to move around in this weather as well. It is pretty damn hot in here. Here yeah, we've got some owls. I think most of them are sleeping since they're nocturnal. But there are a few that are awake. This one, this one's awake. Those two, I think the one on the left is still sleeping. This one is eating lunch. Eyes are so creepy. Just stare right into your souls. What are you looking at? <laughs> there are flamingos and pelicans. Oh, look at those two birds. He's scratching. He's scratching his back. And this one too. Oh, so cute. Just came out of the bird park and now heading towards the um, Botanical Gardens, which is not very far, around 10 minutes walk, according to Google Maps. Now I'm just uh, walking there right now. So I arrived at the Lake Garden, um, Lake Garden Park, which is the Botanical Gardens. And there's actually a museum inside over there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go today. If I have time then yeah, but otherwise, Probably not. Let's go walk around in the park and see how long we take. This garden is actually quite nice. It seems very natural and seems more like a forest rather than a garden. It would be uh, good to come out for a picnic in this garden. And there's a massive lake in the middle of the garden. And now I'm at the deer park within the um, botanical gardens. Hey, look, there's one deer down there. 
I climbed so many stairs just to see one deer. So right now walking towards the orchid garden. Uh, it's about a 10 minute walk. Alright, finally arrived at the butterfly park. Okay, so I finally arrived at the butterfly garden. The ticket was 25 ringgit. This is a decent price. Wow, check this out. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it's real, but wow, the massive. Well, check this one out. I think it's some kind of frog. And there's one feather back. And there are a lot of uh, cockroaches or crickets. I think it's a food maybe. This one, this one I think. Yeah, this one's dead. It doesn't move at all. I don't know if this one's alive. I'm not sure. Seems like it's moving. Or is it just... Oh. Check out what I just found. A mantis eating the caterpillar. Check out that camouflage. On the bottom side, it looks just like a piece of dry leaf. Check this one out. The camouflage is real. I thought I thought it was a piece of dry leaf at the start. Doesn't focus properly. Yo, check this out. A butterfly just landed on my hand. Butterfly just landed on my hand. Okay, so right now I'm at the Madeka Square, which is a short drive down, about a five minutes drive from the butterfly park. And There's another little cat. Malaysian cats are so friendly. So now I'll be heading towards the central market. There's uh, nothing much to see here. You can just probably have, you can spend like around 30 minutes and just see everything. If you don't go into the art gallery, you just walk around, it doesn't take that long. I guess the main point of coming here is just to come and check out the architecture. So I'm almost there at the central market and there's a lot of Restaurants, cafes, and hotels around here. It is a pretty busy area. And there we are, the central market. When you see this blue wall, then you know you, you've made it. It is a market, mostly, um, mostly artworks, I think. You 
Okay, so as I thought, this place mostly sells uh, artworks and crafts and souvenirs and just general everyday stuff. But there's no food here. So there is a second floor. The second floor mostly sells, I think, traditional Indian clothing. If I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah. And also a few um, food stores. And, oh, there's a huge food court here actually. Let's see. Okay, so it seems like this is the main entrance. So outside, there's a side street. There's a side street. I think this street's got a lot of food stores. Let's go and have a look. Check out those massive donuts. <laughs> so I just got some um, pandan flavor steamed rice. Rice flour, I think. It's all freshly steamed in a bamboo bamboo casing. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's got a really nice flavor. You can taste the coconut, some pandan, and just mainly tastes like coconut pandan. It's really soft, it's soft and fluffy. That's tasty. So a pack of um, I think five for 350 ringgit, which is a decent price. Now I'll be heading to Patalin Street, and it's raining a little bit. I hope it doesn't rain too hard. So Patalin Street is actually pretty close to the Central Market. It's about a five-minute walk. And there it is, you can see in the front. So there it is, Patong Street, which is a Chinatown, Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur. But there it is, and it's raining hard right now. <coughs> oh, this Patong Street is uh, indoors, it's a shelter, I think. <coughs> I think only the only the only the middle bit is covered, and uh, on the sides, there's I don't think there's a, there's a shelter, so everyone is <laughs> is trying to cover up the the things. Yo, check out the rain! It is raining so hard right now. I hope the rain stops soon so I can actually grab some food but I guess we'll just keep walking in the, in the meantime so it's raining super hot outside and I just came across a restaurant called Arapisk which is a Tur Turkish restaurant so they have this uh, special set menu for Ramadan I got the set menu for one person which is 55 ringgit 
Go cut up a section of Turkish food. And according to TripAdvisor, this place is pretty good, so let's try it out. So first stop, got my drinks, got a bottle of water, and this I think is Ribena. Yeah, that is Ribena, super sweet. I might add some water to it. Tastes super concentrated, probably use the um, concentrated syrup. So first up we got some lentil soup and baits and I don't know what this is. Some kind of crisp bread. Like deep fried stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not used to Turkish food similar the first time. Oh yeah, soup is nice. That's the season. I can taste the cumin flavor in there. I'm not sure how to eat this. This also, uh, I think this is a uh, deep fried pita bread. Soup is nice and hot and it's uh, quite thick. It's uh, a little on the salty side, but still tastes nice. I'm not sure how to eat this. Am I supposed to eat it with a date? Oh, yeah, it's really nice and soft. I suppose you're supposed to eat it together because it actually tastes quite nice. Gives the soup a nice sweet flavor. So the mains are here. Got some hummus, nice and thick. Got some salad, cheese, bullock, um, lamb, lamb kebabs, chicken kebabs, and some. I don't know, tomato looking salsa thingies and some saffron spice rice. Okay, the hummus is good. Nicely seasoned, creamy. It's just I could eat it on its own. Just so good. I think it's got a little bit cumin in there. And the chicken kebabs. Oh yeah, that's good. Really tender. I think it's the... It's just thigh meat. That's and tender and it's a little spicy. Yeah, that's good. Lamb kebabs. Oh yeah, super soft. And the both choco grill. So the choco flavor is really, really, really nice. Oh yeah, the tomato salsa is really spicy actually. I think there's a bit of chili in there. Salad, just olive oil, olive oil and a bit of herbs. I think there's uh, oregano and 
some uh, par dry parsley in there. And it's really nice and refreshing. And then the spring roll looking thing. It's filled with the ricotta and spinach filling. And that is a lot of food. Look at the whole platter, look how big the plate is. And there's also some uh, complimentary pita bread. <laughs> 